we have two powerful measures how we can improve our immunity, everyday life. The other one is how we can boost our circulation, how we can reduce inflammation in our body, both with our own life, uh, living, stand, living ways and habits. The more we have inflammation, the more we have cytokines, which are straining our immunity and our resistance against anything. The slower is our circulation, the more we have, the body has problems to remove wastes and bring in oxygen and nutrients. <clears throat> Here we see one brother. In his working position, there are multiple mistakes. So there is uh, huge blockages of uh, circulation in the feet, socks and shoes, big pressure area under the pelvic, poor posture which is inflammating the back, bad circulation blockage in the shoulders, and neck muscles are for sure they are tensed, so lots of things are wrong. And he has also a belt pressing his, his body. This belt is only for decoration. And so on. Here we see another very typical receptionist. You can see how she's suffering from concrete shoulders and surely stiff and painful neck. I happen to know this person and I know that she has pains. And you can see them. Uh, here is different kind of working position with uh, grounding sandals, good posture, loose clothing, nothing to block the circulation at all. I a little bit go into the deeper of, of the essence of circulation. Okay, here is very good circulation, this four-legged animal which is jumping over the beam and also the rider is, is excited about what, what we are doing together. Okay, swimming and being in the water may have sometimes been in a, a native home for a human species as well. There are theories that the, how the hair is uh, flowing on our skin, it's, it has come from a certain period of our evolution when we have been walking in the sh uh, shore waters and so on. Anyway, human body is very adaptable with water. We can swim, we can dive, and uh, water is a home for us. The only mistake what this lady has over there is that she's probably, like everybody, having too tight swimming costume. If the swimming costume is that it leaves any marks on your body, trunks or bikinis and so on, it's a bad clothing. Don't use it. We have two systems in one. We have, uh, here we have lymphatic system, which has three to 400,000 kilometers of vessels in the body, anything from 10 to uh, 16, 10 to 14 liters of free liquid outside the cells. And then we have blood circulation system, four to six liters of blood, but only artery blood, the, the one which is behind the heart, will be, is pumped. All the rest of the blood and all the immune system is moving in the body, transporting wastes and other stuff because of the movement and favorable conditions in the micro vessels in the body. And there is our chance to really improve it the conditions. A very, very important part here is, is this, a lymph node. The lymph nodes, there are six to 700 lymph nodes and we should move, stand, sit, exercise, dress up and so on, that uh, the lymph liquid would flow through the lymph vessels into the lymph nodes where our immune system has stored certain killing cells 
that when a microbe, virus, uh, bacteria, etc., is dragged into the lymph node, it's killed there. And so-called T cells are specialized in viruses, and they also patrol in the blood, and they are also located in, the, in those six to 700 lymph nodes. And that's, where, that's why there is our chance. If we can keep the circulation going, the blood circulation is good to transport blood uh, oxygen and uh, nutrients into the tissues, keep good energy over there, and the waste removal from the tissues into the nearest lymph node is bringing in the garbage, dirt, metabolic wastes, but also the path pathogens which have found their way inside the body through various ways. The lymph nodes are also, are in the lymph nodes, they are also our own deformed cells, which can be reproductive. They are also destroyed over there or somewhere in the body, because every second, uh, about 60,000 such cells are born in the body, which are defect. And, if, and they can also reproduce. And the immune system needs to find them and kill them. If any of them would should live and continue reproducing, we have cancer. So the immune system is super important to keep us healthy. Super important. Now I want you to f f uh, find one sep special quality of the lymph nodes, what is um, with them. It, you may not know that. So, I, may, may I ask you to stand up, because for this uh, demonstration you need to stand up. Then here, where the thigh meets the trunk, we have groin. And the whole groin is full of lymph nodes. So take your finger and press here. Press here a little bit. You feel that it's sore. Or if, if that spot is not sore, Move your hands a little bit to the side and you surely find a sore spot. Okay, you can sit down. The soreness is a protection of the body against pressure against lymph nodes. The lymph nodes don't want to be pressed with anything. Not with the muscles, which we do when we are sitting in the 1990 sit, uh, sitting. Not uh, with... Uh, foot, which is over the other foot, not with uh, pressure of the sitting, not with anything. As soon as there's pressure, they can't do their job. And lymph nodes also suffer from uh, bad quality connective tissue, the same as lymph vessels. The connective tissues are all around the body, and usually the lymph vessels are traveling in the, in the connection, in the connective tissue area, and if the connective tissue is full of wastes, dirt, and so on, they are stiff, and then the lymph vessels don't pump the liquid further. The pumping of the liquid happens with the pressure changes, so any time the muscle moves, the little shutters open up and close and so on, and so the liquid goes forward. And that's why we should not be uh, immobile for a long time, any time. A very smart thing, especially if you are aging up, is that in the, in the evening, one of the latest things what you do, you take a little walk. Then you change the liquid in the body, don't take it hard, um, and then you go to bed. In the morning, when you wake up, take a little walk. You again change the liquid, which has more or less stopped during the night, because some of your body has been against the mattress and the pillow and so on. So morning and evening, and of course, if you are a retired person or if you have any medical condition and so on, try to move also other times of the day. Doesn't need to be much, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and you can do the basic liquid uh, motion. We have designed our sitting so that here is a motion. This is not the motion chair. <laughs> I took one model which hasn't got it. Anyway, most of them has a mechanism that this is moving a little bit. And so when you are sitting, this, you get this micro movement very easily. 
which is supported with the mechanism of the chair. And so large number of vessels are, are get muscle pump, uh, liquid pump when you are sitting there and unconsciously you are, you are moving. <clears throat> Another place which is very easily inflammated in the body is the spine. All those who have back pain, degenerated uh, vertebrae, uh, whatever degeneration in the, in the back, there is also inflammation, which is cutting down your uh, immunity. We have heard in the connection with COVID news that those who have inflammation in the body, they are in bigger risk than the others. So the maximum amount of, uh, of movement the maximum amount of movement in the body doesn't need to be big movement. is very good for, for keeping the liquid going. Here we have uh, a saddle, which is saddle chair, which is moving. So this movement is helping out the sitting. You don't need to even think about it. And the thighs, the pelvic, the trunk muscles are pumping out when you are working and you don't need to even think about the motion. It happens automatically. Uh, big problem areas in sedentary work is the backside, the backside of the here, where big tissues with their nerves and uh, muscles and all this circulation which is inside of them get blocked for hours and hours. That's why we should get up from the chair, from any chair, a uh, couple of times a, 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 an hour and walk a little bit, stand a little bit. And when you stand, you could have some activation stool, some active board, whatever. And uh, think of how you can go break your standing or sitting many times a day and, and get to work, go to walk somewhere. The, fr the front side of the thigh here is being pressed with our clothes. So this 90 degree angle, what we have in normal, normal clothing is quite disastrous because usually it is pressed inside the groin and pressing the lymph vessels and lymph nodes. Bad thing. So I have this clothing, which I have designed myself. This is an overall. I don't wear underwear. I haven't had it for, for them for 15 years. It's a catastrophe for good clothing. And so when I'm sitting in, in loose clothing like this, nothing gets tight. Women have millions of opportunities to uh, dress up in a way which is not pressing them. But men just need to choose trousers which are loose enough that they don't press you on the buttocks, not on the thighs, not in the, in the groin. And men, learn to wash your butts if ever you have this kind of plumbing around and, and leave away the underwear. That helps your health in many ways. Important fl flow and uh, organs for in immunity are the lungs. Through the lungs, we get the oxygen, which is the key promoter of uh, met metabolism in the, in the body, and, but also the lungs are massaging our, our chest area and also our gut area, helping the, the food to move forward. And, and also the lungs are uh, moving the whole upper body system. And that's why it is so important to sit with a good posture. So if you are slouched, we have studies that with this kind of posture, we are breathing 30% less oxygen, we are in short of oxygen, shortage of oxygen, and also we are clearly uh, more Im immobile. So good posture is, keeps the chest open, which is helping the, the breathing and uh, oxygen intake, and also doing the internal massage in the body. Then we have uh, our intestine, there is small and, and large intestine here. And we have so much intestinal inflammation all over the place. Uh, huge amounts, different kind of illnesses. You are all aware of those. But when we are sitting with a good posture and we have a little bit of movement in the pelvic area, 
and the, and the chest is not pressing the stomach and the abdominal cavity like this, but it's all open, a little movement, no problem. And, it, it, and if you are smart enough to eat about five to seven times fiber, more than the Finns do in general, then you can, <coughs> your, your everything, whatever you eat is coming through in 24 hours. You can poop two times a day with big, soft, enjoyable pooping session in the toilet for yourself, which is a very, very good flow in the body. <clears throat> very common place of inflammation with younger and younger generations are our big joints in the hip and, uh, and knees, where we get lots and lots of prob different problems. And uh, the, the joints hate the 90 degree angle. They hate it because all the, uh, uh, the, the ligaments here and the tendons, they get tight and so the internal pressure is much bigger. It doesn't let the metabolism work in the cartilage area as it should. And, and a normal sitting also is pushing the upper thigh against the pelvic so that the cartilage is pressed there as well, cannot renew and the, and the liquid doesn't move in the cartilage and that all causes inflammation. So when we sit like this and the, the feet are just rallying, uh, 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 hanging on both sides, they are, the circulation is good when you are a little bit activation and no pressure about anything. Of course, keeping the uh, joint health good is that you need to have good nutrition and enough all sorts of uh, exercise and also check that your bed is not in an in a earth radiation field. The friend of mine, Jakko, who was here just before me, I tested when he was visiting our place in the summer that he is a person who has also the talent to, uh, in his body to react on the earth radiation fields. And uh, I, I, have made, I have had made one special equipment for him that so he can very quickly and, and precisely define the places earth radiation fields. The head and the circulation into the head. So we have this major muscle, the head moving muscle here. And under that, we have these big vessels. We have the big artery and the vein, which is taking blood into the brain and back again. The, the, the whole neck looks like this when you cut it through, and here is the muscle, here is the, the vein, and here is the artery. Muscle, vein, and artery. And here we have the muscle here, we have the vein here, and we have the artery here. And believe it or not, we can inflammate our brain. So too much thinking, bad life, too much stress, wrong nutrients, too little sleep, and we get more or less inflammation in our heads. We, if we get the tensed, keep the tensed muscles with good, bad posture all along the day, the lymphatic system, which was found only five years ago, that cannot work properly and take the dirt and the metabolic waste away from the body because there is tension of muscles in the, in the neck. And so we also inflammate our brain, which is meaning bigger risk for dementia and so on. We can choose clothes in a smart way or stupid way. So here are the same trousers. They look okay when you're standing. They don't look not okay at all when you are sitting down. All these tight places, all over the place, belt, so on. You can just see that the organs are not happy inside those trousers. And how many men, without being conscious about that, is suffering from this trauma? This is one of my overalls, which is even looser than this one, so that uh, we can abolish the, the strangulation of the clothing easily. It's very important for you to all to know the, the human structure under the pelvic, which is uh, the target of, of sitting, whatever chair you have. And uh, because we have so much inflammation under the pelvic, in the genitals and in the internal pelvis. Uh, there are multiple 
multiple illnesses and the, and the pelvic bowl is a center of illnesses. So here we have, here we have the, all the vessels of the testicles and, and the penis on the side. And here we have them uh, on, the, on the back so that they are narrow enough to fit into the uh, gap if the uh, chair is, uh, has a gap. And so we can avoid the pressure. And the testicles I have chosen to this series because the testicles are producing 75% of the testosterone in the man's body. And testosterone is participating in the hormonal metabolism in the body, which has a lot to do with pre uh, preventing inflammation and boosting circulation. So the testicles need to be without pressure. The nature has uh, equipped uh, testicles uh, against heat, so men are very careful that no punches are done against the testicles. But the nature has, been, has done quite a poor job in making men sensitive and aware if there is slight pressure on the testicles, which is increasing the temperature and blocking down the circulation. Here we can see the, these pictures of the, the female pelvic. This is so-called pelvic bowl with all these organs. It's little more than one liter. And there is 25% of all cancer in women and a lot of inflammation and other illnesses. And uh, here are the men, men pelvic bowl here between these bones. 47% of all cancer, huge number of other illnesses over there. So the sitting pressure is coming through the, uh, through the body into this uh, pelvic bowl and making the inflammation there because it's blocking the circulation. We need to be aware of that. And when we are aware, then we instinctively want to avoid it. I'm boosting my own circulation. Uh, when I'm working here, I have, a, I have a, this kind of block where I do stand-ups in my office if I'm taking Skype or other calls. And here, my kettlebell is behind my back. Nobody can seize it. I warm up with 16 kilograms, and I do the 24 kilogram like 10, 15 times. And that's good, small exercise for the upper body. And here in the corner, you can see another equipment for the flexi bar. I also do tennis, hit, uh, uh, tennis hits in my office and so on, different kind, whatever, whatever fits to you. Walking upstairs is an excellent way to, to uh, activate the circulation during the day. Here we have a driver. When we are in the bus, train, aeroplane, car, we don't have saddle chairs. Then the next bit is uh, that we have a special equipment, which you can see here folded and hang on the, on the handle of a cabin bag. And this is keeping good posture in your lower back. And it has a gap in the middle so that your internal, your cent, uh, cent, uh, center section of the pelvic is not being pressed. It is free from pressure and much better ventilated. So lots and lots of different little tricks for yourself to take into your everyday life to improve your circulation and prevent inflammation. Thank you so much.